Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will create exercise 43 step by step in AutoCAD. Whether you are a beginner or just brushing your skills, this tutorial is going to be super easy to follow. This drawing contains circles, fillet, precise dimension, and I will show you exactly how to create these exercise like a pro. So let's drive straight in AutoCAD. You can download this practice exercise 43 link in the description box. So you can easily download and practice further. Step 1. Setting up the drawing. So you can use first open your AutoCAD and set a drawing using UN. Press enter. Select as a decimal precision 0.0, .0 and session scale will be millimeter press ok and now now you can enable object snap using f3 and grid mode for using f7 for your precision so now start the drawing the center line for better alignment so using command xl for center line I just activate XL for center line, V for vertical, just click, again XL enter, H for horizontal, just click on here, okay. Select both line, go to properties and line color will be red and line type will be center line, okay. Now step 2, drawing the base shape. As you see in this diagram, this one our base shape as you see. So this one is a rectangle. Rectangle will be 84 by 19. So now we can do this one using activate using rectangle command. So activate rectangle command using REC, press enter, click on first point, press D for diameter, 84, enter and 19 enter just click on your screen select this rectangle using m for move and click on this midpoint to this midpoint now we need to create this chamfer chamfer will be 6 both side so you can activate cha for chamfer command d for dimension Press 6, enter. Again 6, enter. Select this line to this line. As same as another side. Again CHA for chamfer. Click on this line to this line. Now our base shape completed. Now step 3. Creating the main profile. As you see in this diagram. This one is our base profile. And this one is our main profile so now we are going to create this one so first we need to take offset from here to upside as a 16 so o for offset 1616 select the center line upside again create one more offset 18 so o for offset just put a value as a 18 click this one to upside now create the circle c for circle command click on this midpoint and put a value as a diameter 6 press enter now again using l for line command click on this coordinate point so now if you see there is no coordinate point so need to activate using o s enter and activate as a coordinate if you see here this one is a coordinate for your better visibility you can use this one and also this one and this one press ok now using l for line click on this coordinate point to upside as a 18 create this one create this line if you see total value is 23 23 minus 6 it will be 17 and 17 divided by 
two part so just you can activate control 8 for cal activate calculator and here you can see total value is 23 minus 6 is equal to 7 divided by 2 8.5 l for line from here 8.5 press enter now next need to create these two circle this one and this one and already value available the inner circle will be diameter 7 in the outer circle radius will be 8 so use c for circle command click here as a diameter d for diameter 7 enter select this circle need to move m4 move left side it will be 22.5 press enter 22.5 this one total value is 45 45 divided by 2 so 22.5 now need to create a bigger circle so using c for circle command click on this center point and radius will be 8 press enter now need to create these lines from here to here so use l for line command click on this quadrant point to right side again from here to this one now trim unwanted part tr double enter trim this one now need to create these part okay for this part need to understand this dimension from here to here how much so 23 divided by 2 11.5 so need to make offset o for offset 11.5 enter click from here to here now need to activate line l for line use control right click choose as a tangent so tangent from this circle to coordinate of this line now select this line or e for erase now again need to select this line using e for erase also this one e for erase now need to trim unwanted part tr double enter trim this one and this one now next select all these basic part mi for mirror click this point to this point choose as a new now step 4 add the side curves as you see in this diagram this one is a side curves this one and also this one and also this one okay so now need to activate fillet command using f enter r for radius put a value as a radius to press enter using m for multiple times click on this line to this line again this line to this line now next activate again fillet command using f for fillet r for radius radius value 3 press enter so this one okay this one radius will be 3 so now m for multiple click on this to this now if you see if you uh, fillet this one so your extendable part will be automatically delete so now need to activate not trim f for fillet r for radius 3 and use here t for trim as a no trim now select this line to this line as same as this line to this line okay now trim unwanted part tr double enter trim this one to this one this line to this line and also this line now need to trim this one so use as a reference line from here to here tr double enter trim select this line e for erase tr double enter trim this line just zoom in this one and this one okay if you see very carefully this line it will be dotted and also this one so how you can dot it from this line so use break b r e a k break add point select this line and break from here as same as like this line break from here as same for this one and this one select both line and also this one go to properties and check here as a 0 0.30 and color will be red and line type will be center line and now select all these drawing part except this one 
and these one go to properties and check as a line thickness 0 0.30 now step 5 final touch so now need to check trim extra line add dimension using dimension linear command dimension diameter command and dimension radius command so using dli for dimension linear and from here to here just i'm going to make this dimension fast forward now that's it we have successfully complete exercise 43 in autocad i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you did so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more autocad tutorial if you want to support the channel and get access to exclusive content so consider join the channel and see you in the next video so tata bye bye take care keep learning keep growing keep supporting thank you